Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and on this channel I am documenting and putting all of my experiences as a first time gardener. I'm putting the struggles on the channel. I am putting things that go well on the channel. I'm showing you how I do everything this season in my garden as a first time gardener. You will see in this video I'm having struggles with my seedlings. I am trying my best to troubleshoot and solve those problems so that I have a healthy plant to get into the ground in about four weeks from now. Okay, to transplant my seedlings, I am going to take a new cup and I am going to fill it about one third of the way with new dirt. This will be my new cup to transplant my seedlings, drop them down in the soil, and try to help troubleshoot the problems I'm having. With this razor blade, I am going to cut about two-thirds of the way down on my original cup with the, the plant, this tomato plant in it. I think it did a very good job of carefully separating the cup so that I could lift up the top with the original dirt, with the original root system, and transfer it, for it into the new cup with new dirt where I'm able to drop the plant down, try to help with that reaching and stretching issue, get myself some much drier soil. I had a terrible, terrible misjudgment on the amount of water that these plants needed or the the seedling, the seed starter soil I was using was holding moisture like crazy. I had much, much wetter soil than I thought. I think that is part of the reason why I'm having so many problems. So as you can see, I'm just carefully sliding that original dirt with my hands down the edge of the old cup into the new cup so that it can all transfer into a new cup at the same time, giving myself very minimal contact and disruption to that tomato plant and the root system. Here I am adding dry dirt, new dirt, to the rest of the cup to bring that soil level up. I have buried the stem of this tomato plant significantly deeper. I know that's supposed to encourage new root systems and new growth to start growing and stabilize that tomato plant. Hopefully. Hopefully it is going to work and hopefully it is going to help with my problems with these seedlings.
Before I say goodbye, I do want to mention that now that my true leaves are growing on all of my plants, I am starting to apply fertilizer, a water-soluble fertilizer. I did get a grow light that I can clip on my table. I moved my plants into a new window where the temperature does not vary quite as much, not as much sun. The temperature does not vary quite as much. I think that might have been part of my problem as well. So with the light, with the transplanting, I'm hoping that in a follow-up video, I'm going to be seeing more luck and more success with my plants, with my seedlings. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'll see you in the next video.